everyone. Good morning. What's up? How you doing? Just wanted to uh, say something to you today that was kind of resonating in my mind this morning. And I went to the scripture and actually looked at the actual verse, but just kept feeling in my spirit over and over again the scripture in Second Corinthians chapter, I believe it's chapter twelve, verse nine. Uh, where Paul's wrestling with the Lord of the flesh. He asks the Lord to remove it from him, and uh, the Lord answers this, and, he, and, and Paul writes it this way, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient, and my power is made perfect in weakness. And so uh, here's what just kept resounding in my heart that I wanted to share with you today. God's grace is sufficient. I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what you're going through. I know I've talked a lot about the COVID-19 the pandemic and the quarantine and all of that, and interruptions and inconveniences and irritations and all of those things I've been talking about. But today I just want to encourage you, whatever it is you're facing, and it may be something to do with all of that. It may be something totally separate. I just want to encourage you that God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is what allows us to receive salvation. God's grace is what allows us to receive healing. God's grace is what allows us to receive hope. God's grace surrounds us and empowers us and it does just that, it empowers. As a matter of fact, the ESV version, where it says, my grace is sufficient, it actually uses the word power uh, because grace is not something that we just lean on and rest on, which we do, but it's also something that empowers us and leads us and guides us and shows us and teaches us and helps us and allows us uh, to receive what it is that we receive in our lives by grace through faith, uh, according to the word of God and the power of Christ that works in us. And so I just want to encourage you today that God's grace is sufficient for you. And uh, if uh, these have spoke to you in any way and this speak to you today, you want to add something in the comment that's positive, feel free to do that. If you're listening to this and it helps you and you want to share it, please feel free to do that. Um, I just wanted to say some things that encourage you. And I want to tell you, when I'm facing things that are uncertain or seem insurmountable or seem like they're not going to change or move quickly, uh, I try to ask myself three questions. And those three questions are this. Did this take God by surprise? And my answer to that, I can tell you already, is no. Because God is all-knowing. He knows the end from the beginning, the beginning from the end. He's the Alpha, the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He has always been and He always will be. And so there's nothing that happens that takes God by surprise. Uh, Someone said this, God's not on his throne scratching his head saying, hmm, what am I going to do now? And so uh, God is never taken by surprise. So that's the answer to my first question. The second question, is this something that God is not capable of doing something about? And my answer to that is no, because God is all powerful and God is capable. And the Bible tells us that with God, nothing is impossible and so um, he is able to and he is capable to do uh, anything he wants at any time he wants because he has all authority and he has all power and so God is capable of moving in the midst of my situation and my circumstance and doing what only he can do his word says he'll make the crooked places straight and he'll make streams in the desert and so uh, God spoke and made something out of nothing and God uh, gave me grace and power and life and he gave you grace and power and life and he created you for his creative purposes and so be encouraged today that nothing that's happening state God by surprise nothing that's happening is beyond his power and capability to do something about and then the third thing kind of goes along with the scripture today if God's grace is sufficient his power is made perfect in weakness is this is this something that God uh can give me the grace and the power and the strength and the faith and the fortitude to get through? And my answer to that is yes, because God's grace is sufficient and his power is made perfect in weakness. And so I just want to encourage you today, whatever you're going through, have to take God by surprise. It's not something that he can't handle and it's not something that he can't give you the fortitude and the grace and the power and the faith to get through uh, by his word, by his grace and through his power. And so whatever it is you're facing today, I just pray for peace over you. I pray for wisdom over you. I pray for clarity over you in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will see, that you will know, that you will walk in the fullness of what God has for you and that he will show himself strong. He's for you. He's with you. He loves you. He is helping you. And he he goes behind you. He goes before you. He's above you. He's below you. And his grace is sufficient. His power is enough. 
and he is surrounding you now with his grace, with his mercy, with his goodness, with his kindness. And so I want to encourage you today. God's grace is sufficient. We love you. We're praying for you. Have a blessed day.